Hey, welcome back to the permission statement. I'm your host, Johnny X-Ray. So, 0311B, which those of you who don't know what that is, 0311 is infantry in the Marines. 11 Bravo is infantry for the Army. So when you've done both, which is a very uh, unique life experience, 0311B. Uh, 0311B was with my brother in Afghanistan when the Taliban attacked them. Um, and then he was, they survived that. They stayed in the mortar pit, lobbing out mortar rounds, receiving direct and indirect fire um, to get their platoon out of the kill box. He was with Michael that day. Um, I don't know if Dan Rather was with them on that, during that time, but he they were watching Dan Rather. Dan Rather was um, with them at that combat outpost uh, during that deployment. He was with Michael on the day that the Taliban came back uh, many months later, um, not long before they were to rotate back home. And so he has a lot of firsthand information and knowledge and experience uh, to include his own. He uh, was in Iraq with the Marines in Ramadi, and then he was in Afghanistan with uh, the Army 4th Infantry Division. So interviewing him will be a a great uh, experience to bring forward to y'all since we're talking about post-traumatic stress disorder and I'm talking about veterans and the stack and what took place here in Napa so the other veteran that unfortunately you know carried out this terrible atrocity in Napa at the Yountville veterans home he served in Afghanistan and the contacts it, down what it start. said is that whatever happened in Afghanistan is what changed him but listening to the interviews i think there was pre-existing as well and that's that's what i'm starting to wonder because uh, 0311b did multiple deployments and they went back as a contractor after the fact after going to iraq once going to afghanistan experiencing everything then went back as a uh as a contractor so the uh, the testiculars they they're hanging low so um y'all get to meet them tonight we'll do a uh fireside chat if you will and so there's a lot going on i'm touching on ptsd and the stack and what went wrong here what i've experienced in this disillusion of marriage and this complexity with this social worker who works for napa county um and the inconsistencies inconsistencies that i've seen with this process to include child welfare services and the inaction of um the Department of Health and Human Services here in Napa when I went to them and asked them for help. Um, so you take that and then the weaponization of my military service and what happened here and how that plays into part with the phone conversation and the court and the ex parte. I'll, I'm trying to put everything forward for y'all and then I'll piece it together in a nice little, little chronology. Um, and then the bicycle thing happened. And if you look back at some of my older videos on TikTok and on and here on um, on YouTube as well, before I started the permission statement, you can see that I posted videos of two years and like within one year, I was hit by two different people. One ran a, a, a red light and got T-boned and hit my son and I head on uh, both those cars. Like he was going this way, car was coming this way. We were at a stoplight. Cars coming this way, full speed, hits them. They both redirect and hit my son and I uh, and had to have surgery. Less than a year later, guy runs a stop sign, T-bones me. My face goes to the one to hear orbital blowout, facial fracture. Um, so I've, I've, I've been through quite a bit. The young the young boy that passed away in, in Santa Rosa and my friends that have died through multiple ways, family members. It, it's, it's a lot. And so my ACEs score is high. My stack is high, but I'm here. I'm here. And this is catharsis. This is definitely better than anybody that's, you know, would prefer violence over talking about it. But just 